All right, next thing we need to do is remove the uh, coil pack from the valve cover. We're getting ready to jump into this. I've labeled each of my wires uh, just as a precaution. Let's see, we got a connector here. I'll put this back on in a second. All right, it's one of those ones that slides. Push the red tab backwards. Push this little tab down, and it comes right off. Set that up here. All right. And of course, these are 10 millimeter bolts. One, two, three, four. And they'll pop right off. All right, we got the bolts loose. It's own component, see? So it's just the bolts just hold it on. Simple as that. The next thing we have to do is remove the tubes for the uh, they got the positive crankcase ventilation system. This hose here, this end was attached to our air filter housing. We'll take it off. back here we'll, we'll put a label on this where it goes we'll say a uh, rear of rear of valve cover to air filter housing and we'll know that's where it goes and then they also tell us to remove this hose from the actual PCV valve itself so that's out of the way all right, the next thing is we're going to remove the valve cover uh, bolts. Again, 10 millimeter. They must have got a heck of a deal on those bolts. Uh, there's 10 of them. One, two, three, four, five. And then it repeats on the back. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, they say to evenly and gradually break them up. Don't. So here's what we're going to do. We'll start on one end. Break it loose. Break it loose. I'm going to caddy corner, crisscrossing, and slowly break them all loose so we don't get any warpage or anything. Just like when you tighten this stuff down, put them hand tight, little bit, little bit, you crisscross, go around, and that's how we're going to take it off. All right, I was trying to gain access here, and I couldn't figure out how to get this thing off. There's these little rubber, rubber pieces right here. I think they're designed to be like a little finger hold. And you get a little screwdriver and put in there. <clears throat> the other one popped right off. Yeah. They just go onto these little posts right there. Oh, okay. Looks like this is the mounting system for the uh, the fuel. That's what that looks like. We'll probably have to, I don't know if we'll have to take this off, but I'm sure when we take the uh, intake manifold, looks like it's all together. It should come off as one unit. That's good. I didn't want to disassemble the fuel system. All right, to make a little room for the valve cover to come off, this wiring system, which goes, I think this looks like it's the uh, electronic fuel injectors. It uses... It's a zip tie with the ribbed holder. One here, one here. We're going to take the needle nose, try to pry this off. There we go. Just be careful. Don't jerk too hard and lose control of what you're doing you don't want to uh, damage the wiring harness because there is no telling how much a wiring harness like this that is bound up with all this other stuff it will be a nightmare to replace and yeah see everything ties in over here to our primary control module or powertrain so be careful you don't want to damage any electrical stuff Let's try to get this out of here safely. There we go. 
and we just need it out of the way. Right. Look, over here, it's held in place with something else. See right here? Got our hose out of the way here. This just bends and lets this stuff slide out of the way so we can get to our bolts. That way when we're coming up, we're not doing like this, wiggling all crazy. All right, there's another one right back here. All right. That should give us room. I'll show you what I did here. See? We pulled this stuff out of the way. That metal bends, which helps. And that way we have access to our bolts. And uh, make it easier to pull the valve cover off. Alright, this thing's on there pretty good. Uh, it doesn't just pop up. You know, it, it's loose, I can see. But the way this thing seals down, it's got these... Uh, o-rings and seals right here that seal around the tube that goes down to where the spark plugs are back here it moves it's here that I'm stuck there's two little places you can pry on the valve cover where the area that goes around the bolt extends out past the metal on the head so I'm prying off the intake manifold but I'm putting a wrench down here because when I go like this right here say I start hitting the fuel line and I don't want that so I'm putting this so I can press off that say it pops up a little bit I wish I had a little bit smaller pry bar see? a little bit off each side so come up even Here we go. You don't want to force anything. And that is the valve cover off. Alright. Pretty cool.